Well, hey guys, uh, it's good to see you, kind of, or you see me, but I wanted to kind of uh, give you a little bit of background. Uh, some of you actually saw this the other day, um, but for those of you that haven't, uh, a little bit of background information, and then you'll get your first assignment too. So, um, really, we're talking about how cells divide, and you could call this a type of reproduction, and um, there are different kinds of reproduction. We'll get to that too, but I want to start off with mitosis, and this is what it says, normal cell division. So, cells will divide, and they form a copy, and this is often how your cells get replaced. So, skin cells, bone cells, um, they end up living a period of time, and they need to be replaced, so they will divide, and that's uh, really how that happens. We watched a video on this, so you probably saw that. And this is kind of an amazing fact, and again, some of you saw this already too, but it says approximately 50,000 cells in your body will die and be replaced with new cells during the time it takes to read this sentence. No wonder you're tired. Um, so maybe your uh, parents could catch you a little slack because you've been busy uh, reproducing cells. Okay. Uh, but that's kind of interesting that we make a new skeleton every three months and a new layer of skin every month. Um, so our, this is constantly going on in our bodies. Now, one of the key things to know about mitosis is start to finish. And what you'll see here in this diagram is showing that if you start with a cell that was labeled A and B, you finish with two cells that have A and B. And that would be kind of like... Um, the DNA within them, if it had two genes, one A and one B, then you end up with two cells, uh, just identical. So that's one way of showing that. Uh, this was actually on the state test this way, so I, I made a slide for that. Um, another way to, to view that would be looking at the chromosomes. And if we um, see here that you start with a red and a blue, chromosome, you end up with two, so that you just get a duplicate copy of those chromosomes. So that's that's another way of seeing that. Uh, one more way, kind of a strange way of looking at it, would be if you had two blue and two yellow, they get copied, and you end up, again, with a duplicate copy. So there's different ways of showing this kind of reproduction, and what they all have in common is that start to finish, you end up with the same thing just uh, two copies so we say one cell divides into two daughter cells sorry guys if they call them daughter cells and uh, as far as DNA goes they are identical now maybe you've seen uh, I know mr. Baker had you guys study uh, mitosis and so this is showing the yeah, basically what happens in mitosis that the chromosomes start to appear and you start to see them as that um, cross and they line up in the middle they separate and you end up with two cells that are identical uh, your your first assignment i'm going to give you goes to these phases i want you to read about them uh, you're not going to have to know a lot about that but i know you've heard it before and be good to get some information on that so I'll have you do your first assignment on that, and we'll pick up there and, and talk about another kind of cell division. But I hope you all doing well, and uh, we'll talk to you later.